Hey everyone, Dean Haycox here from ScreencastMagazine.com. In this ScreenFlow tutorial video, I'll be going over how to fade in music and out within ScreenFlow, so stay tuned. <laughs> So this tutorial I'll show you how you can fade music in and out whether it be background music or any other music that you're going to add to your project. Have a look at what I mean. You can see the music is faded in slowly at the beginning and the same thing at the end. Really easy and simple to do. If you haven't already you'll need to add your music to the timeline. If you're not sure how to add media to the media library or to the timeline please check out my other tutorial videos on them. Now I already have some music background on the timeline. So to get the audio to fade in and fade out we have to add what's called an audio action. Just a little tip, whenever you go to add any actions make sure the clip you want to change is highlighted. You can tell if the media is highlighted or not by looking at the colour around the media. If it's yellow you know it's highlighted. Otherwise, if it's not highlighted, when you go to edit or add any actions, it will be greyed out like this. So, bring the scrubber up to the audio, click and hold this upside down arrow if you like, or you can click on the timer bar. The scrubber is used to scrub up and down the timeline and to edit points within your project. So, highlight the footage, and come up to the right hand side to the audio tab and it looks like a little speaker and click on audio action or add action to the right hand side once you've added the action you will see it applied to the background music by the yellow box you can see let me zoom in a little so you can see it a little better now what I really like about these actions in ScreenFlow is that you can add the action anywhere you want on the timeline by clicking and dragging the action. Now, I can put this audio action where I want, but for this example, we're going to add it at the front of the background music. Oh, by the way, we can also speed up or slow down the duration of the audio action too. So I'm going to extend the action a little bit so we can see it more. I think I will have the action there just before the music starts. Now all we need to do is put the scrubber before the action and come up to the volume and reduce it down to the level you want, which in this case it will be zero. Then bring the scrubber to the end of the audio action and use a slider to bring up the sound. Now. If you are anything playing in the background, for example, on my screen recording, I'm talking, so I don't want the audio on the background music to drown me out. So what I like to do is set the background music to around 25%, but you can play around with that to see if you want to, and you can see this by looking at the percentage going up. Let's play it and take a look. Can you see it moving from zero through the action, then getting louder as it passes the action we have created? All we need to do then is apply the same audio action to the end and fade out. So make sure the music is highlighted, come up to the audio properties tab and click on action. We then need to add it to the end of the music. Again, let's extend the audio action by clicking and dragging to the right or left and I'm put it where we want the music to fade out. Remember to put the scrubber at the end of the audio action and then start to adjust the volume. If you do it at the start you will reduce the volume of the entire audio clip. Obviously that's not what we want. Once you put the scrubber at the end simply reduce the volume all the way down to zero and it will fade out nice and slowly. What I like to do is fade in and out the same amount of time which is around about three to five seconds in length but you can always play around with that and see what fits you. So let's take a look at the fade out. Oh I like that, that's faded out very very nicely. And that's how you fade music in and out inside of ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow sorry. 
All the actions within ScreenFlow take a little practice, but with a little patience, you'll start to master ScreenFlow in no time. If you have any problems or any questions about this or any other tutorials, don't forget to hit me up in the comments section below this video. As always, you can post your tutorial requests underneath this video. I'm Dean Acox and this has been another ScreenFlow video tip of the week. For more tips like this, visit www.screencastmagazine.com.